protection network for the disabled and it's a, a national NGO working for youth with disabilities and basically we work with uh, four main types of disabilities the visual impaired the physically disabled the hearing impaired and uh, albinism we have different programs um, we have three main programs one education health and the other one is a recruit under the health project we we have been using different strategies to achieve our outcomes that is to increase accessibility of uh, of uh, healthcare services amongst women with disabilities. One strategy has been uh, peer education, where we have trained 20 peer educators, and through the 20 peer educators, we've been able to uh, reach youth, uh, close to 500 youth with disabilities. <laughs> At least in the end, the engine is the na some other persons with disability. How do you say that we are going to be able to support groups? We are going to support groups. We are going to support groups. We are going to support health resources kama PMTC, alafu mambo ya venye tunaizaishi na ulemavu. Uh, rights as a person with a disability mm -hmm. na venye tunaweza ishi afya yetu venye inaweza ishi mm -hmm. kwanzia tukikua watu sita mm -hmm. lakini venye tuliendelea andi walikuja kati walianza kujiunga tukawa karibu watu ishirini na tano mm -hmm. trainings that Andy offered, I learned a lot. Uh, I was able to learn about uh, peer education and uh, basically facilitation. In peer education, I learned about sexual reproductive health. I learned about uh, STIs. I learned about uh, prevention of mother to child transmission. We were sent like facilitators to go and reach our peers uh, in the community. And I was able to reach different groups that are dealing with uh, uh, people living with disability then I impacted the knowledge to those people. I was able to meet uh, a, a group in Silanga called Kibera Lisebo Group and uh, from that we had a personal interaction with a, a guy called Mr. Vinga in which he wasn't that knowledgeable about, uh, about health uh, programs, health facilities, health centers and after he went through the training we impacted something positive in that he was able to go to, uh, to health centers, as in to go and confirm his health issues and uh, know much about uh, sexual reproductive health. We, we also have the SLH sessions, sexual reproductive health information, where we've been with, meeting with youth with disabilities every month uh, to, to uh, create more awareness to them on the issues of family planning, HIV and disabilities, PMTCT services, and through that, uh, we have been doing some referral. We've been working with health centers in Kibera, uh, five health centers, where we've also been able to train uh, close to 100 healthcare uh, workers on disability etiquette. This to make sure that the stigma that has been there for persons with disabilities has gone down as we motivate uh, youth with disabilities to access uh, the healthcare services. Sikuwa najua kusu, venye ninaeza ishi nikiwa na disability. So, uh, niliweza kuelimika mengi sana kupitia Andy, na ndiposa nikaona ni vizuri niweze kuingia kwa kikundi. Faida ambao niliweza kupata ya kwanza ni kuwa, niliweza kujua rights zangu kama a lady ambao ninaishi na disability. Nikaeza kuelewa kuwa kumbe mimi ninaeza kuenda hospitalini na niudumiwe kama watu wengine. Nilikuwa nikiongopa kuenda hospitali kwa sababu nilikuwa nisha yenda hospitali siku moja na siku udumiwa. Nilienda nikaona 
sifuatiliwa kuna mtu ananishungurikia na nikaenda nyumbani lakini kutoka hiyo siku nilikuwa naenda hospitalini ninahudumiwa vizuri kama watu wale wengine na nikaweza kusoma juu ya 13 key messages na katikati ya hizo 13 key messages nitaweza kutaja tano kwa size moja ni knowing status family testing child testing um, tb prevention na kodomu use nilikuwa na upweke nilikuwa naishi mimi ni peke yangu ulemavu ni kitu kingine yani sistahili kuonekana na wengine na jificha ficha sababu ukienda hata unataka family planning na nilikuwa nafikiria nasa ataniuliza na mimi na yule mavu wangu siwezi jihurumia bado nataka kufanya family planning na ya nini nilijua sistahili kuzaa hata ilituma hiyo uoga mtoto wa kwanza nilizalia kwa nyumba na vile nilijoin kikundi ya Andi ili nipa mafunzo mengi mpaka hata nikapata nikajua kumbe mtu bado nina right ya kuzaa nikapata mtoto wa pili nikajifungua hospitalini na nikahudumiwa vizuri kama wagonjwa wengine wa kawaida tulifunzwa hii door to door tukaanza kutembea door to door tukapata kuna watoto pia wamefichwa na wana ulemavu unapata mtoto ameugua na labda inatakana hiyo kuugua kwake awe akifuatilia matibabu lakini mama sababu ya ile uoga inabidi afichwe ndani tuliweza kuongea nao na sauti yetu ikasikika na watoto wakapata kusaidika na imekuwa furaha kwetu uh, we've also been working with the local radio that is there at Kibira to reach to the community to make sure that the stigma uh, has reduced to enable youth with disabilities to access the health services we have reached approximately 10,000 people uh, that uh, that is through the 13 appearances in Kibira uh, with the anti stigma campaign messages to reduce the stigma that persons with disabilities face in the community uh, given a period of uh, two years or more i believe we can achieve more uh, because uh, we've been working with just a uh, few health facilities in Kibera and maybe we can work with more 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 health facilities to increase our catchment area and to increase our numbers ninaweza nika convince mtu ambao kuna disability na akaweza kuelewa venye mimi nilijifunia kuwa andi waliweza kuni uh, kuni train na nikaweza kujua mengi na nikamwelimisha jinsi anaweza uh, kujoin kwa support group na aweze kujua venye anaisha anaweza ishi na disability. Hiyo support group kuna wengine walikuwa pregnant na na walikuwa still HIV. So to your advice, wakaenda kwa health center, wakanimia hapo wakafunzwa about DMTC. Venye walipata watoto, nilienda ku confirm. Nika pata kwa clinic wamepata watoto healthy ambao si positive, wako negative na nilikuwa so happy. It is good if a youth who are living with disability can have all this knowledge uh, because it's going to help him so much. In the past uh, they were not that enlightened and they were not you know that impacted to know that uh, these things are there and uh, these things are happening. So it will be good if they can also have the knowledge also to help other youths who are living with disabilities and also to help themselves. Naweza ambia walemavu wengine ulemavu si kitu ya kujificha ulemavu ukiwa nayo bado unaweza ishi na una right zako kama wengine na unaweza fanya shughuli zako kama wengine kwa hivyo wajitokeze waache kujificha wa join support group disability is not inability